Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess, and welcome to our third lab exercise demonstrating the ArcGIS hydrology tools. Now, if you'll recall in the last lab exercise, we saw what happened when you failed to fill your DEM before you generate your flow direction raster, and how that caused the entire watershed analysis to fail. Watershed algorithm starts at your pore point, and that's the Picture Canyon Preserve in these examples, and it works upstream from there until it can't find any more upstream regions. And if there's a low point in your DEM where all the neighboring cells are higher than that point, and there almost always is, then the algorithm stops at that low point. These low points are called sinks in the DEM, so we just need to fill these sinks before calculating the flow direction raster. This lab exercise will show you how to do that. So first off, let's get rid of these flow direction and watershed rasters that we created in the last lab exercise. And I'm going to leave this Picture Canyon Preserve raster in there because um, we're going to use it in a later lab exercise. And I just like to have it there. All right. So we just need to go find the Fill tool. It's in the Analysis tab. Hit Tools. We'll just search for Fill. There it is. Pretty simple analysis. We take our DEM as the surface raster. And we're going to call the output raster the DEM filled. I'm not going to set a Z limit in this case because I want to fill any sinks that might exist in this raster, no matter how deep they are. Just hit go. And now we have our filled DEM in the map. That's all, that's all there is to it. Now, the nice thing about this DEM is that there are no sinks in it anymore. And so when we generate a flow direction raster, the water will flow across the entire landscape. All right, so that was an easy one. Let's move on to the next lab exercise.